to show you how easy it is to now integrate an ad in your Windows 8 application. So what I'm running here is the preview of Windows 8.1 and the preview for Visual Studio Express 2013. But to get started, let's create a new project and I'll just choose a blank app to start with so it's nice and easy, not much to it. You'll see it opens up automatically to the default JS file and we have the default HDM file as well. But what we want to do, so just in reference, I have a, an account with Pub Center already. So I can go up to the Pub Center website and create an application there. And what that means is it's creating kind of a, a holder for ads that I can then use inside of an application so that then I can get paid for the ads that, that get displayed. So in Visual Studio, though, Let's see, I'm starting a new project like I just did there, or a new new application, new Windows 8 application. And what I want to do now is say, okay, I want ads inside this application. So I go and connect to a service, in this case the service is Pub Center. And it's going out and reading the different apps that have already registered with Pub Center. But what I'm going to do is say, create a new one. And we'll call it uh, a simple game. And the reason you, you give it a category here is because you want to be able to have somebody to say target an ad for games. So then mine would be an ad that would be targeted for games. And we'll just go with a, a basic square ad. 250, 250. You can see the, the different size options there. Kind of the squares and the, the tall skinnies and the, the long skinnies. Those are the technical terms there. So what it's doing is creating a new application for me called Brian's Game, and it's created an, an ad to be within that, that application that's going to be 250 by 250 pixels. So I hit OK, and we now have a new reference to the, the Windows Ad SDK, or sort of the Microsoft Advertising SDK for Windows 8.1, and we have some sample text here. Notice it's add sample page to html.txt, so it's not a real HTML file. So if I select everything and copy that, just go over and paste it all on top of my existing HTML file. So I paste. I now have an app that's that's ready to go. And the uh, the ad you can see, I have an ad there. I have an ad there. Um, I think I'd actually selected something slightly different, but you can see the 250 by 250 ad that I selected is right there. And I can then start building my application, and it has ads built into it. And of course, I could of course lay these divs out however I want, but that's for a different talk. Thank you.